All right, conditions over the area certainly cool. Have a little dessert. Uh, we all deserve it. Uh, doing kind of riding through a tough time right now. Temperatures uh, low to mid 40s out and about this morning. It's going to be about 10 degrees cooler this time tomorrow, and that does raise some frost concerns, which we'll talk about here momentarily. Uh, 30s uh, from Galax up to Stewart in Patrick County this morning. We've got a little bit of a breeze. It's going to pick up this morning and then start to lay down this afternoon, but it's certainly going to keep the chill in the air. Uh, current winds are out of the north, northeast, and the triad at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Should be about a 10, 20 mile an hour wind. Some interesting setup on radar. we got an area of low pressure tracking just south of us. It's helping to create some rain and even a few thunderstorms that race through the southern part of the state. These are not expected to become severe at all. But it's cold enough in our northern counties where we're starting to see some wintry mix developing. You can see it got stretched out really from Surrey County northward. They're reporting just rain in Mount Airy, but there are a few flakes on radar. Also up in the high country, Stewart Meadows of Danward tends to run a little bit cooler and that stretches uh, northward into south side Virginia. Uh, this is going to continue to move out uh, through the morning hours. Just a, a small chance that we'll see a few isolated raindrops through about mid-morning, and then that drops off dramatically as skies begin to clear. Your triad forecast is certainly going to be much cooler than average. Normal highs are close to 70. I don't expect that we're going to get out of the 50s today. I have around 57 in the Piedmont triad. That should happen around 4.30 or 5 o'clock today. We'll be in the mid-50s for the bulk of the afternoon. Uh, in the foothills, clouds early, small chance for rain through 9, and then rapid clearing after that. And high temperatures very close to where the triad is going to see today, with highs in the mid to upper 50s a bit later in the afternoon. Then temperatures really start to drop uh, later on tonight. For the mountains, uh, temperatures should be pretty close to 50 degrees this afternoon. It'll be in the 40s for most of it. Chance for a few raindrops or even a few snowflakes, and then things begin to quiet down after that. So we'll move the rain away and watch the clouds evaporate too. Temperatures will be slow to warm, getting back into the 50s a bit later in the day today. And then as we look ahead to tonight, we are going to see scattered clouds redeveloping in our mountain counties. But look at the numbers uh, dip, dipping into the 30s for early tomorrow morning, scattered frost, a possibility moving forward, and then temperatures warm back into the 60s once we hit the afternoon. So at frost advisories in place for all North Carolina counties in the Tried and Foothills, 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. Details on that now. If you've brought some potted plants outside, you have some hanging plants on the porch, might be good. Uh, make a good effort to bring those back in later on tonight. This could kill sensitive vegetation just because we're talking about six hours of some very cold temperatures. But it did get near 70, and we'll see temperatures return to near 70 for much of the week ahead. Your 70 forecast has us back into the lower 60s tomorrow. After that chilly start, it will be a little bit windy uh, for the next couple of days in the afternoons. Temperatures near normal this weekend. We'll start to bring back some low-end rain chances, too.